Hello, my lovely Cancerians. Um, I'm going to start this reading off by first thanking all of you. You guys blew your watching records off the charts in comparison to the other uh, horoscope signs. So I'm reaching out to a lot of Cancerians out there, and um, I think that's really awesome, actually. So thank you all for you know, watching, um, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Even those of you that didn't like what I was reading, I, I still appreciate that because, um, you know, you're not going to reach everybody. Uh, and sometimes, you know, a message will come across that you don't agree with, and that's totally fine. The big thing to remember is if it doesn't resonate with you directly, maybe it's not for you, you know? Um, maybe it's for someone else. Uh, you know, as cool as it would be is if all of our signs all lined up the same way and all the messages were the same. We all have life experiences that are different. We all have different um, planetary alignments that kind of weigh our, you know, information a little bit differently. So that's just something to keep in mind. But again, I love you guys as Cancerians. Um, you guys know from my past videos, I have someone that is very important to me that's a Cancer as well. So I hope that we can continue uh, this awesome bond that we're building here. All right, that being said, it is the holiday season. Um, it is the end of November, so this is your love and soulmate reading for the second half of November 2019. We're going to go from about the 15th to the 30th, give or take a day or two, depending on when these get uploaded. And um, because it's the holiday season, I am offering uh, personal readings, okay? So these personal readings are going to be $10 for 10 minutes. It can be anything of your choice. It can be a 2020 outlook. It can be a relationship, twin flame. Um, financial, whatever you want to do, that it's it's up to you. It's ten dollars and it's ten minutes of your time, and I am offering this for the holiday season. So if you're interested in that, check out the description box below. It'll send you on a link to my website where you can find out more information on that. All right, cool. That being said, what do you say we get started, huh? I'm excited to see where this is going to go with you guys because I think last time we talked, it was about learning how to work together, right? Let's see where we're at now. All right, so we have Cancerians. It's way too many cards. Cancerians. Second half of November, 2019. November 15th to the 30th. Nice. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Jumped out all over the place. All right, fine. We'll take them. We have Judgment card. So something is coming to an end here. Um, this is your karmic card. Judgment card um, can mean rebirth, following your karmic instincts and uh, your intuition asking you to come towards your um, your calling, basically. Page of Swords in reverse, cheeky little fellow guy. So someone might be lying or being deceptive about you, but um, watching you online. Three of Pentacles, not wanting to work together. And the Magician in reverse, feeling like you don't have what it takes. Um, also, someone who might be a little manipulative. That's usually what the Magician is in reverse. Nope, nope I missed. <laughs> okay. It's your reverse. 2019. All right, let's go. First card is you, my lovely crabby little friends. Two of Swords in reverse. No longer feeling like you're at a stalemate. Um, breathing a breath of fresh air, finally seeing things clearly. The loved one, or whoever you're considering, is in the Four of Swords in reverse. No longer feeling in need to rest or recuperate. Two air signs here. Interesting. So you may have air in your chart, or your loved one may have air in their chart. One might be an air sign. Energy between the two of you. Eight of Cups in reverse. Thinking about walking away, not wanting to walk away, or being unable to decide whether you want to walk away. The challenge, temperance, not being patient. Um, Sagittarius energy. Temperance can also mean an imbalance, a need to realign oneself, a need to feel grounded again. Um, it can also mean taking time for self-healing. So... Um, depending on where you guys are, it could mean that you haven't walked away from this yet, but you know that, that healing needs to take place. Somebody needs to heal themselves in this situation. 
on the blockage is a seven of swords in reverse. Not feeling like you're being lied to. So there's trust here. There may have been a lack of trust at some point. Again, lots of air coming through here. There may have been a lack of trust at some point, which may have caused a conflict. Um, and that's where this healing has to come in here. All right. Past situation from your point of view currently influencing you is the Two of Cups. So right now we're talking about your soulmate. Two and two. Two's mean balance. Two's mean partnership. Okay. Past situation from your loved one's point of view. Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. Perhaps they felt abandoned. They felt that um, in their time of need, uh, you weren't there. They might feel financially um, kind of on the rocks right now. Maybe they're struggling financially. But for the most part in relationship readings, we're talking about stability of a relationship. So something must have happened um, that led to that. Outcome from your point of view is the King of Pentacles not wanting to make a stable offer not or not offer not wanting to be a stable grounded relationship um, not wanting to have commitment from their point of view <laughs> it's the queen of uh, queen of pentacles upright though they want a stable nurturing union wow that's funny couple cards but inverted so what you want is not what they want Maybe that's what that Five of Pentacles was right there. Overall outcome for the two of you? Twin Flames card. Blocked. Um, this is usually the Marriage card. Twin Flame cards. It's in reverse for some reason, and it's probably because the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are not seeing eye to eye. They're kind of in a 69 position, which is funny because you're Cancer, and that's also what your sign is. If you were drawing it. Um, <laughs> uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, Earth sign. Generally it's, uh, it's Capricorn. Queen is usually Taurus. Could be Virgo. Um, uh, any, any Earth signs up there. Stability, though, and that's the problem. That's why your Four of Wands is flipped, is because there's a lack of stability in this relationship. Lack of stability. Um, could be financial. Uh, it's most likely a perceived stability, though, based on that Five of Pentacles right there. All right. What's going on with this Two of Swords? No longer at a stalemate, able to see clearly. Tell us about this Cancer. Why does Cancer have Two of Swords? Because of the Page of Pentacles, they you were um, focused on the wrong things. And you needed patience to work through it. Interesting. Scorpion, uh, sorry, uh, Sagittarius energy. So you may know someone who's a Sagittarius, or you might have Sagittarius in your chart. The moon. Oh, God. Um... So your loved one over here thought something was being hidden from them. They, they got in their head about it. They got really insecure about it. Um, yeah, something was hidden from them. What was hidden? What was hidden from them? Dependency. Uh, bondage, karmic cycle, karmic contract, rather. It doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Um, I've been saying this a lot in the readings. Uh, devil is also pan. It's also sexual energy. Um, in some of the other depictions and cards, you might see um, two lovers at the bottom. It can mean a very strong karmic connection here. Um, doesn't always have to be codependency, and it does even if it is codependency, it doesn't always have to be bad. Codependency means working together in a relationship, an equal give and take. Doesn't always have to be 50 50, 60 40, 70 30, 80 20, whatever. It means trying to meet someone halfway in knowing that you can depend on the other person. However, if this pops up with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse anywhere in on this side, then I would say it was probably an unhealthy um, 
dependency. This person might have been too dependent on you, which is why you were unable to um, want to give this because you might have sat there and been like, look, this is my soulmate. I love them. I care about them, but oh, they got something they need to figure out over here. And that's where that temperance card is, inner healing. So something might have happened to them when they were younger. Um, might have been their upbringing, might have been your upbringing, honestly. Um, we all are brought up differently. It has to do with how we perceive love. You know, if, if you were constantly seeking attention from your parents growing up and you didn't feel like you were ever being seen, you're going to be one of those people that's a little bit more codependent. You're going to want that energy, um, that attention from a loved one because you never got it growing up. On the flip side, if you had a parent that was overbearing, you're going to pull away because you're going to be like, ah, dude, take care of yourself, right? Because you probably had to grow up a lot faster um, than the other person. But ironically, those are yin and yang to each other. It makes a purple, pur purple, <laughs> purple might be important to some of you out there, a uh, perfect combo between the two of you if you can find your balance. Just putting it out there. All right. <laughs> Eight of Cups in reverse. A truth is going to be said. Someone's going to communicate something. Um, so you might not be talking right now, but a truth might be coming in the future here um, to offer this. Justice is in reverse. So someone felt that there was an imbalance in the relationship. There was not an even give and take. Someone felt that they were being lied to or deceived in some way, which is that seven, but you found out that you were not being lied to, or you have come to terms that you were not being lied to, or you've forgiven the transgression. King of Cups down here. Uh, someone felt emotionally volatile um, because they were hurt. Emotional volatility doesn't come just out of nowhere. Uh, this King of Cups is a very stable person very set in their emotions, understands their emotions, has very deep emotions. This is a very sensitive person. Something happened to cause this person to revert um, back to the negative sides of their personality. This is a Scorpio card, doesn't always have to be, uh, but it's any water sign, Cancer, so it actually could be you as well. Why did they revert? Tell me why. Because of something they saw on social media And because they felt like they weren't a choice. Um, that a choice was made and it, it didn't involve that. Two of cups here. Your soulmate is your ultimate happiness though. Um, so the, you had happiness with this person in the past. Wow. Five of pentacles. Nothing jumped. Five of cups. Fives mean change, conflict, instability. Five of Pentacles matched with the Five of Cups. Uh, you might as well have the Three of Swords here. This is a broken-hearted person. This is someone who put a lot into this relationship. And they are both shaken in their soul and emotionally torn. Um, five of Cups is the depression card. It's It's the disappointment card. It's the emotions of um, these three cups are spilled out in front of them and there's two cups behind them and they don't see those two cups because you have those two cups over here. But all they see is all of this effort that they've been putting in has been for nothing almost. Um, it's almost like the Seven of Pentacles card. It's actually very sad. King of Pentacles. Interesting. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right, what do we have for the Queen of Pentacles over here? I'd be curious. Six of Pentacles, wanting to meet halfway. Oh my God, we are having the same reading over again, Cancers. So whoever didn't like this reading last time, you might as well sign off right now. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen again. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles up here, in reverse with the King of Pentacles. You guys are a match. They just want you to meet them halfway and you don't want to give them, you don't want to be in a relationship with them. For whatever reason, you don't want a relationship with them. 
Oh, why is this Queen of Pentacles in your first? Can I get that? There you are, Cancer, because you want to move forward. You want to move forward with your life. You want to keep moving forward. And I think, based on this card spread, you think this person's going to hold you back. You think your soulmate is going to hold you back from success in life. Oh, they just want, they want an even give and take. They, they don't feel like they've gotten an even give and take. You left them out in the cold. You, you, you made them feel like they didn't matter. You made them feel like their emotions were not valid. Oh, Cancer. I love you, Cancer, but I know you guys don't like being called out on your shit. Nobody likes it. Believe me, I'm a Scorpio. I hate it more than anyone when people call me out on my shit. But the truth is, the truth hurts. And sometimes you need a mirror held up to your face. And I don't know why all four of these popped, but there it is. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Three of Cups. Third party. Third party influence somewhere. Either you had someone else on the side or were thinking about it or they were or they thought that you had this or you thought that they had this threes are creativity growth groups but it's blocked sorry coming back up from reverse somehow the two of you need to find the strength and the courage to step into your roles in this union together because that's your twin flame card right there and it's blocked. The reason it's blocked is because of this heartbreak. Somebody else, there is a third party and you need courage to move forward from this. Let me be really clear here. Third parties aren't always a person. Third parties could be someone's family background could be their job because they could be a workaholic or it could be the fact that when you were going through a hard time, you were reaching out to everybody but them to talk about the issue. Okay, think about that. There will not be a new passionate new beginning. The passion is burned out. The torch has been taken and it is gone. But in doing so, one or both of you is no longer playing it close to the chest. You're putting it all out there. You're thinking, you know, I was, I was selfish. I need to let myself be a little bit more open. <clears throat> Six of Wands means the ego was in the way. Someone felt like they weren't important or not being seen. Nine of Pentacles, there's your codependency card right there. But it's in between, so it's not really laid over on this side over here. Interesting, though. Oh, and we have death in reverse at the end of this. Um, so meaning not wanting to move through a new cycle, not wanting to let go of this yet, not able to move forward yet. <sighs> Let's see what the Lenormand has. Before I get too much more into this. This reading just made me so sad. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> it's been a rough month. <clears throat> Can we get two cards here for cancer? Of course. Of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. Got the heart and the book. Let's see what we got here. Oh, gosh, cancer. <sighs> Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Breathe through all of it. <laughs> all right. The heart means love, romance, passion, sincere emotions. The book means hidden love, a secret crush, a hidden affair of sorts. So... My Cancerians, hear me out. Okay, we're almost at 20 minutes, so I'll try and make this brief. I'm going to try and say this without being biased about a situation that I'm in right now. Um, K 
Cancers, you as a sign are very loving, very nurturing. You have so much emotion, but you have a little bit of the influence of Gemini um, in you sometimes, which makes you not want to deal with your emotions. When your emotions become too much, you pull into your shell and you protect the soft spots on the inside because you don't want anyone else to be able to hurt you. Um, and that's noble. Like, I think everybody does that. Everyone's afraid of getting hurt. But when you do that too often, um, and you do it to someone who cares about you and you, they don't understand why you've pulled back, it can cause a lot of problems in a relationship. Whether it's romance, family, work, if you don't explain why you're pulling away, the other person is just gonna imagine the worst. And if it keeps happening over and over again, it can literally break a person down. This person in your life, I'm gonna be really clear here. The cards aren't lying here. You got the two of cups, you got the sun. This person is your soulmate and they are your ultimate happiness. But you left them out in the cold and you made them feel like their emotions didn't matter. <laughs> they still want this with you though. They're, they still want this. And I don't know why, <laughs> but they love you. They still want this because you guys are connected somehow. Something is hidden though. You have been hiding something or you have pulled away into yourself and you didn't express why you needed to pull away into yourself until it was probably too late. And the hurt was already done. But you're gonna move forward and you're gonna be fine on your own. You're always fine on your own. This person might not be. Um, you might be the one that got away, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, they didn't feel important to you. And um, that broke their heart because I think uh, if most of the time, if, if someone doesn't feel like they're important to someone else, that means that they are very important to the other person. Um, they might've put you up on a pedestal and maybe that's why you didn't want the stability because you're like, yo, I can't give them what they need right now. And in a panic, you just withdrew because you didn't know what to do. But there's love here and it's written. It's written in the books and you probably really, really loved them, but you never told them. I am here to tell you, it's not too late to tell someone how you feel. It is never too late. Even if it's ended, even if harsh words have been said, even if someone has walked away, it is never too late. Cancer, you guys have a huge heart and I know you're afraid of getting hurt, but you gotta open that shell up every once in a while and you gotta realize that there are people out there that want what's best for you and they just have to know that you want it too. This is a really serious reading, Cancers. I hope this resonated with some of you. Please like, share, and subscribe if it just subscribe if it did. If it didn't, that's cool too. I'm sure a few of you aren't gonna like it because the last reading, having to meet halfway, um, having, having, having to offer you know an equal give and take um, didn't really sit well with some of you guys, but I'm hoping this one explains things a little bit more. Cancer, if you love this person, even if you're in separation right now, you got to tell them because they're in agony. They're hurting real bad. And they're trying to move on without knowing what happened. They are trying to move on. But it's hard for them. It's really hard for them because they're heartbroken and they feel... They feel like they don't know what's going on. They feel like they weren't important enough to you for you to even respect them enough to tell them what happened. Cancerians, I love you so much. Please don't hate me for this reading. I hope to see you guys in the first half of December. Please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm really interested to see how this all turns out. 
All right. Till then. Deuces.